Welcome to One Fever Ministry. I'm Dr. Mary Neal. First of all, we will have prayer. No, we have the reading of the word and then prayer, and we are ready. check this volume on my iPad. I had it turned down. Say it's so busy. I do not want to go through this whole class and no one can hear me. Hallelujah. First of all, thank you all for joining us. In the name of Yeshua Jesus, I rebuke every Henry spirit that tried to come against us tonight. We will be going back with our teaching from the foundation of of the world we will be looking at a lot of key words uh i actually had an outline out for yesterday so i kind of reworked that so i'm not going through the whole outline but if you want to see that it's on yesterday morning uh video and so we are going to continue with that teaching from yesterday uh, first of all, just in case we have anybody out there that has not been adopted into the family of Yahweh, that's the family of God. The Bible teaches us how we're justified by our faith and we believe on God and believe that God raised his son, Yeshua Jesus, from the dead. We're justified by our faith. Then we're to confess that which we believe. If we confess with our mouth the Lord Yeshua, the Lord Jesus, and believe in our hearts that God raised him, Yeshua Jesus, from the dead, thou shalt be saved. God of the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10 and 13, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mark 16, 16, he that believeth, he that continueth to believe, and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. First John 1 and 9, as we confess our sins, he faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Proverbs 28, 13, he that confesses and forsakes his sins shall have mercy, but he that confesses and forsakes not his sins will not prosper. So welcome to our service, One People Ministry, that coming from John chapter 17 and Galatians chapter 3, 28. Yes, Yeshua prayed that we all be one just as him and his father are one. Also, Galatians 3.28 tell us there's no more all of that. For when we are in Yeshua Jesus, we are one. I have been having problems with my computer, uh, not all day, but seeing most of the day. So I'm trying to correct something so I can see what I'm doing. It doesn't want to move on me for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to change my remote, so I might just have to work this with my hand today. And so this is my portion. You and your questions and answers are welcome. Always welcome. Encouragement and warning. Not to be like that wicked one. Say. Well, this is where we actually stopped off on that phrase yesterday, where we could call that encouragement telling us what we should not be like and a warning not to be like. How we lost the way continue. Every false way I hate. So if we lost our way, many times we are on the right path and because of false uh, teaching, now we are on the wrong path, so we're to hate every false way. Again, that's coming from 19, uh, Psalms 119, 124, and 128. Uh, for some reason, yesterday, I think I actually accidentally moved that verse 
when I said we would keep it there. And my remote is not working, so excuse me. I have to use my hand. Uh, dial in 67807-9601 uh, for the conference line in 294-147. Ask the ID just in case you have any question, comment, or a prayer request. Ecclesiastic, because on our guideline yesterday, we said we're going back to the foundation of the world to look at things happening that are happening today. And so I quoted this verse on yesterday, but I want to read the verse. This is Ecclesiastic uh, chapter 1, verse 9 through 11. And I am re reading from the complete Jewish Bible. What have been is what will be. What has been done is what will be done. And there's nothing new under the sun. Is there something of which it is said, see, this is new? It existed always in the ages before us. I have to keep using my finger. No one remember the people of long ago. Well, you know, this is all the way back in Ecclesiastic. No one remember the people from long ago. Now, we can truly say that. It may come to our mind every once in a while, and then there come a time in our lives we might not remember it at all. No one remember the people from long ago. And those to come will not be remembered. But those who come after them, and so if we go all the way back to the foundation, say, of our families, well, some of them we never heard of. Some of them we heard of, and we have forgot all about them. So this is what took me back, uh, looking at spirits that was always there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call out a lot of things, uh, maybe phrases, and then single words. Now, if we do not understand them, they've been there from the foundation of the world, let's get hungry, go back, and search them all out. You know, sometimes people say, you know, we say, you should study your Bible. And sometimes people say, well, I don't know how to study my Bible. Well, it's a good way to study. I didn't say just read because anyone can pick it up and just start reading it and do not get understanding. So this is how we could really, really understand certain words, put them together so they can make more sense to us. Common sense. You know, many times we do not even have common sense, let alone spiritual sense. So we start out with common sense like a child. A child has common sense. When you teach them in the right way, you tell them not to do something if it's going to hurt them. Well, they, you know, they believe, if they believe that, they won't do it. But sometimes they're going to just do it anyway. The same way warnings in the Bible, but they kept doing them anyway. Uh, kind of reminds me, I just said to my little great grandbaby again today, she had a book on the floor. And I said to her, Alaysa, uh, Alea, come and move your book. And I said, why do we not leave books on the floor? So now she really got, because she was old. She said, because you are old, I said, but what's going to happen because I'm old, you have to go to the hospital. And so even the baby, she has common sense. And so many times we have common sense and we will not even use that sense. But God give us a spirit that we not only have common sense, but we will have knowledge. That means knowing something. So no one remember the people again of long ago, and those who come will not be remembered by those who come after them. I really want to fix my computer so I can scroll down. But I don't know what's happening with that. Just give me a few minutes here, because this is driving me up the wall. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to make it small or something I did. And for some reason, I can't even get to it. Oh, there you are. Devil, you're alive. I rebuke every hindrance spirit that tried not. 
try to hinder God's word. It does not want it to go forward. So again, I got to move it again. Now I went back to the beginning. Okay, hopefully we have it now. Hallelujah, those things happen. Returning to the foundations of the world continues from Sunday service. Understanding and addressing fundamental issues, both righteousness, wickedness, good and bad, light and darkness from the foundation of the world. Introducing B, I was A, this is B. Introducing a negative and good character and action from the beginning of time. C, whoops, now you want to go too far. I don't want you up that far. Back to see. Important of understanding the root cause of evil spirits and good spirits. Notice I'm using plural. It's good spirits and evil spirits. D. Root causes of harmful and unharmful spirit and action. Blessings and curses, life and death from the foundation of the world. All these words I'm using. You can actually take them back from the beginning. On yesterday, we were focusing all the way back to Cain and Ava. I'm not sure. I think we'll use some more verses as we go forward because I paraphrased a lot yesterday and went through the guideline. So when we think of a murderous spirit, just in case you wasn't with us, the first murder that we can see, you go back to Cain and Ava. The first bad offering, Cain and Abel. The first good one was Abel. And so we see trials and temptation. And I don't think we went all the way back to the beginning of time with Genesis. When we look at Adam and we looked at Eve and we looked at uh, uh, Cain and Abel. And then further down, we'll look at the other son that God gave Eve. Because Abel was killed. Or the words Cain murdered Abel. So we went through a lot of that on yesterday. Some of it we'll come back into and I'll share the scripture. Be the Lord's will. Not sure if we're going to get there today. Some examples from the foundation of the world are God the Father. God was always there. The Son of God. If we look for it, we can see the Son of God. The Spirit of God. Saved, saved, eternal life, and eternal destruction, which is damnation. Cried unto the Lord, called upon the name of the Lord. When man began to call upon the name of the Lord, man began to walk with the Lord. Perfect heart, heart not perfect. Holy Ghost, Roash Harkosh, anointing. Of the Ruash Hakosh. Now, what you can see, and I'm going to go through that a little later because there's so much, you know, when we see spirit. I said quite some time ago, it would be good if people search out the Word of God and understand spirits, which is plural. God is a spirit. Yeshua Jesus is a spirit. The Ruash Hakosh is a spirit. The Comforter. Uh, Satan is a spirit. And we are spirit too. So that tell us there are good spirits and there are bad spirits. So we see these all the way again from the foundation of the world. We see warning before it happened. But even after the warning, sin willfully. And so nothing is new under the sun. It just things intensify. And we have to go back to try to help solve some, solve some of these problems is to go back and see how things started, what God did for evil things, what he did for good things, what he does today as well. How we need to search out the spirit, how people have the spirit. But then there is an anointing called the comforter, which is Rosh Harkosh, Holy Ghost. So we'll go through some of that. Yeah, I think we'll get there today. Again, I said I was going to keep these verses here because what we're trying to do, 
is get unified in the Word of God. Become one in the Word of God by speaking the same thing, teaching the same thing, preaching the same thing, prophesying the same thing. Although, you know, we don't have to have words for words, but if we share in the Word of God, we need to share scriptures so people can go back, not just here, but babies, you have to train them up in the way they should go before they start walking, before they start running, before they grow up and go to school and go to college and so forth. So we are to start training up children in the way that they should go when they are what? Young. Now, they're not going to get everything in their mind and in their head when they first hear it. We as adults, we can hear something one time and maybe forget it before the day is out. So that means we're to keep what? Putting God's word in us again because this word is spiritual. We can what? Continue to grow. So we know that there is nothing wrong with temptation. Temptation was always there from the foundation of the world when Adam and Eve was put in the garden and had a command what they should do and what they should not do. And how they were disobedient because they were disobedient, they was put out of the garden. So the same thing happened today. God give us command. We have freedom of choice to obey or disobey. When we obey, we bless. When we disobey, we can fall under what? A curse. We'll see curses and blessings again from the foundation of the world. Light and darkness. Yeshua and Satan from the foundation of the world. So it's good to go back and start from the book of Genesis and read from Genesis to the book of Revelation. So we won't get a partial revelation, but we'll get a what? Full revelation of God's word. Those things we need to know. We won't know everything, but there are certain things we need to know in order to make it through those gates. Hallelujah. One body called to be part of a single body. Again, that's out of Colossians. So if you was raised again with the Messiah Christ, then seek the things above. We said we'll keep it there because there are things above. Some people would read that and look right over it, not realizing things is poor. And the Bible tells us we don't have to wonder what things were to seek above. In heaven, the Messiah Christ, that's one. God the Father, that's two. So the Bible tells us we don't have to wonder. Just go back and read the scripture. Seek those things above where Yeshua is sitting on the right hand of his Father. I think I have the scripture. Maybe I deleted it and just put Colossians 3. That's where you'll find that information, just in case I don't have it there. How we lost the way. John 14, 6. We, if we have lost the way, because we are not hating every false way. That's how we lose the way, when we don't hate false ways. So where can we find that? John 14, 6. Yeshua Jesus says, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So we are to do it how again we must do everything not our way but god's way starting out like i go through justification that's one of god's way by our faith i go through confession in order to be forgiven that's god's way repentant that's what god's way this is my portion portion again you and your question and answers are always welcome encouraging and warning not to be like that wicked one, which is Satan. Although we see Satan was there from the foundation of the world. Satan was wicked when he tried Adam. Uh, he tried Eve. He tried uh, uh, Cain. He tried Abel. Number one, he tried Yeshua Jesus from the foundation of the world because Yeshua died before the foundation of the world. So that's why we need to go back and look at foundational things. This is my portion again. You and your question and answer are always welcome. Anybody have any questions so far on the line? 
Anyone? Someone may say, oh, I wish you had, I do have a question. Anyone? Online? Do you have a question? Do you have a comment? No? Okay. Returning to the foundation of the world continue from Sunday service. Understanding and addressing foundational issues, both righteousness and wickedness, good and bad, light and darkness from the foundation of the world, introduction to negative and good characters, and action from the beginning of time. Important of understanding the root cause of evil spirit and good spirit. Root cause of humble and unhumble spirit and action. Blessing and curses and death. Some examples again. From the foundation of the world of God the Father. Because God was always there. I'm going back through that. The Son of God. Yeshua was always there. If you do not believe it, read, study Proverbs 8. And many other scriptures that would tell you he was there before the foundation of the world. He is the second Adam from heaven. The Spirit of God. And this is what I encourage people to research. The Spirit. Just Sometimes you're just going to see the Spirit. Because Satan is the Spirit. Yeshua is the Spirit. God is the Spirit. Go all the way back to the beginning. Let us create man in our own image. Showing Yeshua was there. And everything was created through Yeshua, Jesus. The Spirit of God, the word saved, saved, eternal life, life eternal, destruction, cry unto the Lord, call upon the name of the Lord. When man began to call upon the name of the Lord, man began to walk with the Lord. Well, you will see this after Adam and Eve had set, and then set after set is when man began to call. Other words, many times we can be in the Lord and never call upon the Lord. That's why the Bible said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that word also means shall be delivered. Sometimes, you know, my computer is acting uh, up and I have to say, Lord, help me. You know, and then sometimes it start working. Sometimes I got to suffer a little longer because we see long suffering all the way back in the book of Job. So we must be long suffering because God is what? Long suffering with that. And when you're long suffering, many times you're just being tried to see if you're going to give up. And I always hear my spirit when I do not give up, never give up, which means. We give up on God. And I'm not going to say like some lying spirits say God never give up on us. Because we can see if we go back and study scripture, oh yes he does. Like Cain, he, he, he hated what? He, kept, he hated, uh, he loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. So that tell us like he gave up on Esau. So don't tell me God doesn't hate certain things. God loves good and God hates evil. And we need to do the same. Holy Ghost is the worst Harkosh. Anointing of Harkosh. Now we're going to share a few scriptures that we could see uh, the purpose. And what the purpose of the worst Harkosh does. I didn't write that down, but the Holy Ghost just brought it to me. Where Yeshua tell us when the Rosh Hakodesh Holy Ghost come, the purpose of it, He's going to testify of me. He make it very plain what is going to do. The Rosh Hakodesh, as we study the Word of God, we can see that is the anointing of God. And how God anointed his son, Yeshua Jesus, because when Jesus came to earth, he had the spirit of God. The same God that anointed Yeshua Jesus. When we obey him, he anoints us. Now, just in case somebody say that's not true, I'm so glad you asked. We have scripture to prove it. Number, uh, Acts 5, 30 through 32 is what I'm reading complete Jewish Bible. The God of our Father raised up Yeshua Jesus, 
Where you, whereas you men killed him by having him hung on a stake, meaning tree. 31. God has exalted this man, Yeshua, Jesus, his son, at his right hand. You see many times that's where Yeshua is sitting. As ruler and savior in order to enable Israel to do Shava, meaning repent, and have her sin forgiven. Well, how many times again we are teaching people, once you're in Christ, don't worry about it. No repentance come before forgiveness. 32. We are witnesses to these things. So is the Rush Harkosh Holy Ghost, which means not only they was witnessing, but they said, so is the Rush Harkosh, whom God has given to those who obey him. Don't miss that. Now, some people say, oh, old, oh, no, it's no old. It's an old blood covenant. It's a new blood covenant. But what God wrote with his finger, he never changed. So who does God give the Rush Harkosh Holy Ghost to? No matter what some lying spirit says, which is a false way. We are witnesses to these things. So is the Rush Harkosh, whom God has given to those who obey him. Obey who? Obey his son. That's who we are to obey because Yeshua obeyed his father and we are to obey his son. Mark 1 and 4. So it was that John, the immersa, meaning baptizer, appeared in the desert, proclaiming an immersion, which means baptism, involving turning to God from sin in order to be forgiven. There it is. We must turn to God from sin, that means repent, in order to be forgiven. Luke 24, 7. Complete Jewish Bible. And in his name, repentance, leading to forgiveness of sin. Because so many of us, we do not do word searches. And we think all our sins are forgiven us past, present, and future, which is a lie from the pits of hell. Only our past sins and old sins are forgiven when we repent. Or when we come to Yahshua, we died to the old man, now we are a new man, so those are forgiven. But now we are in a race. We are just like a baby, start growing up. Everything become new, all old things are what? Passed away. So listen at, uh, listen at this again. Uh, where am I? Uh, Luke 24, 7. And in his name, repentance, leading to forgiveness of sin, is to be proclaimed to people from all nations, starting with Jerusalem. Now notice that. Repentance, leading to forgiveness of sin, we are to proclaim it to all people. So we need to tell people you need to repent first in order to be forgiven. Do not tell the, let the devil lie to you because he's a liar from when? The foundation of the world. Hebrew 1, 9, complete Jewish Bible. You have loved righteousness. Who loved righteousness? God's son, Yeshua, Jesus. You have loved righteousness and hate wickedness. So we're to hate wickedness and we're to love righteousness. Therefore, oh God, and this is where, because there are God's many, this is where you see an uppercase on therefore, oh God. But again, remember everything was in uppercase until they start translating the Bible and start using uppercase and lowercase. Therefore, oh God, your God, remember, I'm going to my God and your God. So this is the word of God. It said, therefore, O God, your God has anointed you. Because God the Father is the one that anointed Yeshua. With the oil of joy and preferment to your companion. Acts 10, 38. It's a reference right to that. 
how God anointed Yeshua from Nazareth, Jesus from Nazareth, with the Rosh HaKosh and with power. How Yeshua went about doing good, because good and evil was also set before him, and healing all the people oppressed by the adversary, because God was with him. Remember, I'm not alone. You're going to leave me alone, but yet I'm not alone because my Father is what? Is with me. John 14, 26. Just a few more. We're looking at this anointing. John 14, 26. Complete Jewish Bible. But the Counselor, the Rosh HaKosh, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father was sent in my name, will teach you everything. See, that's the purpose. To teach us, to remind us, to uh, confess to us who Yeshua is. So that's why when the Holy Ghost comes and, and tell us who Yeshua Jesus is and we resist that, we, that's blaspheme of the Rosh HaKosh Holy Ghost. So again, but the counsel of the Rosh HaKosh Holy Ghost when the Father, whom the Father will send in my name will teach you everything. See, that's why we need it. To teach us the right way. To teach us what God said. Not to lie and deceive us by what God said. That's why we are to hate every false way. That is, he will remind you of everything I have said to you. Well, when we have the rush hakos, that's what it does. When Satan come to try us and tempt us to do something, the Spirit of God, the Rosh HaKosh, Holy Ghost, remind us of what Yeshua Jesus taught us about these things. But how can it if we do not have it? Can't do it. Although common sense tell us certain things are wrong, but then there are certain things we may think it's okay because God is good and God is loving and God is long-suffering and God is patient. Yes, see all of that. But the Rosh HaKosh will warn us against evil. It will warn us that this is not of God, but it's of your adversary. Because your adversary know where he is and he wants us to be there as well. 2 Corinthians one twenty one, Complete Jewish Bible. Moreover, it is God who set both us and you in firm union, union with the Messiah. He has anointed us. There it is. Letting us know the same one that anointed Yeshua Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is the same one that anoints us. That's why when they received the word, the Rosh HaKosh came upon them because they obeyed the word, not just heard the word. They received it. John 2, 27. As for you, the Messianic anointing, you received from the Father, so that's how we know who anointed us. Remain in you, because it's not we not just to have it, it is to stay there. So that you have no need for anyone to teach you. On the contrary, as his messianic anointing continue to teach you about all things, not just John 3.16. And it's true not a counterfeit. So just as he taught you, remain united with him. In other words, we need to remain united with the Rosh HaKosh, that anointing, in order for it to continue to teach us. That's why we use these scriptures to take us uh, back from that verse I quoted. Now we're going back to Exodus 29 and 7 complete Jewish Bible. Where it started. Oh, well, it's, I won't say it started there. But if you want to look at anointing, just put in, uh, just, just use the key word anointing. And you can see how people was anointed. David was anointed. Saul was anointed and so forth. Uh, here in Exodus 29 7 complete Jewish Bible. Then take the anointing oil. And anoint him, remember Aaron was anointed, by pouring it on his head. This is so important. 
that by what? Pouring it. It didn't say sprinkling it. It didn't say just put a little on his forehead and, and rub it on your hand. Now we know many people use olive oil. Well, that's fine if God tells you to use that. I do not. I use mixture of oil because Yeshua was anointed with oil that had a smell to it. That's why the odor went all through the house. I can't smell uh, olive oil. Maybe you can, but I do not. But the Bible even teaches us how they made that anointing oil. It said, then take the anointing oil and anoint him by pouring it on his head. Mark 16, 13. And they were cast out, many demons, and were anointed with oil. Many who were sick and healed them. Well, I didn't even think to put that one back here. Let me read that again. John 6, 13. I mean, Mark 6, 13. And they were casting out many demons. And were anointing with oil, many who were sick, and healing them. Well, that reminds me, this is the one I did not put there, is what? When you go back to James chapter number 5. If anyone is sick, let them call for the elder of the church, anointing them with oil. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. So you can go all the way back to foundational things and you could see anointing didn't just start it in James chapter 5 but it tell us what to do if someone is sick and if your church do not believe or your ministry in anointing anoint yourself what are you going to do if someone do not believe in anoint yourself I do uh, continuing evil spirit what was there from the foundation of the world evil spirit Satan and those who follows. We, we, you know, we used to say his little imps, his little workers. Remember, he would cast out and others with him, cast out of heaven. The ungodly, all the way back, look in the book of Psalms, speak of the ungodly, Psalm chapter 1, sinners, chapter 1, Peter, uh, you see that in, in so many other places. Just do a word search and see how many times it's in there. So you go back and you look at these foundational words that still is here today. Just and unjust. Justification for the ungodly, which I go through all the time. Forgiveness for sinners. Unforgiveness and forgiveness. Repentance, love, temptation. Jealousy. We went all the way back and we looked at what Paul came to kill his brother with jealousy. We looked at him lying. I know not. When the Lord asked him where was where his brother were, we see lying spirit. Anger. He was angry because God was pleased with Abraham sacrifice more than Cain sacrifice. So he had a hatred for his brother. Warning, God warned Cain, if he do good, he would accept it, but if he would be accepted, but if not, sin lies at the door. If and but, he used to if, he used to but. Before the action, that means he was warned before he act, but he didn't receive the warning. He disobeyed the warning. Unrighteousness, sinning willfully after the warning. Well, when God said, if you do good, you would be accepted. But if not, sin lies at the door. That was the if and the but right there. That was a warning. Satan is at the door to take you out. And he became again, what? A vagabond Jew. He was put out. And he was killed as well. Because you remember the Bible said, he that killed shall be killed. Well, that's what happened. Warning, if and but, before the action of righteousness, sinning, willfully sinning uh murder so that's what it was when he killed his brother that where we see what the first murder sodom and gomorrah spirit that we call homosexuality they're from genesis 19 through judges 19 uh until uh yeah to judges 19 through 121 so these things are not new they always been there we just have to go back and look disobedience, but also mercy. 
Mercy was there from the foundation of the world because God did not kill Adam and Eve when they sinned. God did not kill uh, 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 Lot. He didn't kill Lot. Well, Lot's wife became a pillar of salt. But remember, Lot said he has magnified his grace. So his mercy and grace was always there. It's sadly to think people think it didn't happen until they get into what they call the New Testament. But God's mercy was always there from the foundation of the world. We just need to look for it. Freedom to choose good or evil. Freedom was always there. Still here today. Obedience, righteousness, hope was always there. Peace was always there. Joy was always there. Forgiveness was always there. Unforgiveness, always there. And so these things are not just happening today. There's help. When they do happen, God sent Jesus from the foundation of the world to help us, but not to make us, to teach us a better way, that we don't have to stay the way he found us in the nature of the first Adam. But we can be like him because he is the second Adam from heaven. If you do not believe that, you need to read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that teaches you about the first Adam and the second Adam. And the second Adam is the Son of God, the Lord Yeshua, Jesus from heaven. So we're to be in that nature. We're not to continue in the old nature. We're to die to the first Adam and live as the second Adam did. Linking these negative character to foundational social and moral issue again. Just read Ecclesiastic. There's nothing under the sun that has not been done. I'm not going through that whole verse. But these are fundamental principles that God gave and continue to give to correct the old self and freedom to obey. When he loose us, when we are no longer in bondage, we were born in bondage, all the way back to the foundation of the world, people was in bondage. But when they obeyed God, when they believed, belief was always there, faith was always there, anointing was always there, trouble was always there, envy was always there, jealousy was always there. All of these things, they're not new. Nothing new in the sun. Actionable steps to, agree, to address these root causes and make a positive impact. Do you think I'm studying like this? To make a negative impact or positive impact to bring forth change that we will change we do not have to live in that old nature but god wants us to be transformed by this change transformed by renewing of our mind but if we do not study scriptures, we think sometimes there is no hope. We can't help ourselves. We were born that way. We're going to stay that way. Only if we choose to. Because when we're in Yeshua Jesus, we are no longer in bondage. There are people that's living a lie that's not doing a lot of evil. But that won't get them in heaven unless they go through the Son of God. Yeah, they can do a lot of good work. But the first thing we need to do, be born again. That means we're to be in the image and likeness of God, dear son. And he will help us, but not make us. He is our helper. Things we can't do on our own, we just call upon the name of the Lord. That's why when man began to call upon the name of the Lord, that's when man began to what? Walk with the Lord. We do have help if we want it. Actionable steps again to address the root causes and make a positive impact, encouraging individuals to seek answers. Seek them out for yourself. It's okay to listen to me, listen to your pastor, listen to prophet, listen to evangelist, and oh, and somehow we just get confused because we're going to and fro by every wind of doctrine where man lay in wait to deceive. That's also scripture. Hallelujah. 
actionable. See, action. We need action, even with faith, we need action. You know, we said we don't need to do anything, uh, action, because you're going to be tried as Abraham was tried. Action, you're going to be tried. You're, uh, Abraham was tried with a son whom he loved and waited for, what, 99 some years? He was tried. Action. But he had action. He didn't believe at the first play, at the first, uh, at first he laughed. Just like Sarah didn't believe, she laughed. And the Lord said, yes, you did laugh. And so sometimes when we hear what are required of us or what God want to do for us, sometimes we laugh, we mark, we make fun of it. But it doesn't mean it didn't happen. We just reject it. Actionable step to address, uh, bleh, to address the root cause and make a positive impact. Encourage an individual to seek answers and take action based on fundamental principle, based on God's principle from the foundation of the world. If and but faith and a blood sacrifice. Now I did all that other today, most of it. But this is the verse we actually stopped off on yesterday. Faith and a blood sacrifice. That was a more excellent sacrifice That's than, uh, than uh, Abel. That's Hebrew 11 and 4. Encouraging Oh, why did you do that? Come back up. No, why did I do that? Sometimes you can't put it on the devil. You just have to be more careful. Faith in a blood sacrifice that was more excellent, that was a more excellent sacrifice than that what uh, we see in Hebrew 11, 4, going to take you back to Cain, how the Lord loved uh, Abel's sacrifice more than Cain. Encouraging and a warning not to be like that wicked one, Satan. See, we were born with the same spirit of the first Adam because Satan, we saw that in the garden, how he tempted Adam and he tempted Eve and both of them had a choice to be obedient or to disobey. And we looked at it yesterday, how you saw blame starting with Adam, blame uh, Jesus, Yeshua, blame God, one of them. Uh, for even giving him the woman. Then he turned around and said, the woman that you gave me, I did eat. Then uh, Eve, she turned around and she blamed the serpent. So all three of them had judgment. He started with the serpent, the woman, and went all the way down to Adam. Because Adam, you didn't have to eat because somebody gave it to you. Well, sometimes we do stuff because somebody give it to us or we do something because someone tempt us when God give us power to resist, not to yield. Yield not into what? Into temptation. Slay meaning kill. Do not kill, which means do not murder. Hebrews 11 and 4. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain because he offered a blood sacrifice. Cain offered the fruit of the ground, kind of like whatever I can get, I'll give you. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. And we say we can't be righteous. Oh, Lord. That he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, plural. And by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. Remember, because of the blood, the shedding of the blood from the foundation of the world, encouragement and warning not to be like that wicked one, Satan. Pay attention. If man ways are not the Father, Yeshua, Jesus, do not believe it. Teach it, preach it, prophesy it, follow it, or obey it. Hate every false way and speak the truth to every man. Hate every false way is found in Psalms 119, 104, and 128. So we're going to stop here, be the Lord's will. We will, speak, uh, we will pick up on this teaching. So I always like to go through my opening, beginning, 
and in. First Corinthians, I do not use it all the time, but I think it's a perfect way. For among the first thing, this is Paul teaching after he saw the light, but he had to get knocked down to the ground before he could really see. In other words, he had to become blind before he could really see. Sometimes we have to become blind, knocked down to the ground before we get up and do the will of God. For among the first thing I pass on to you was what I also received. Always remember, he didn't always receive it. He had to receive it before he could give it away. Many of us giving away some stuff that we have not even received for ourselves. Therefore, it could be a false way. Namely this, this is the first thing. The Messiah, which means Christ, died for our sin in according with what the Tanika scripture said. And what I love about this, Paul doesn't use other disciples. He doesn't say what Paul, uh, Paul doesn't say what James said, what uh, Simon said, what Matthew said, what uh, this one said, Mark, Luke, and all of them. He's going to take you back to what's written down in the Word of God. This is where we are to go back to what is written down in the Word of God because that's our proof. Anybody can tell us anything and it can sound good and we'll receive it. But that doesn't mean it's the right way. It's the true way. It could be what? A false way. So he said, for among the first thing I pass on to you was what I also received, namely this. What did he receive that he did not receive in the beginning? The Messiah Christ died for our sins. In accordance with what the Tanika meaning scripture said. And he was buried. Always remember, Paul is telling you who it was that died. Who it was that was raised and who raised it from the dead. Listen to what he said. And he was buried and he was raised on the third day. In according with what the Tanika meaning scripture says. So we are to believe what? What the scripture says. Now, brothers, I'm reading from a different translation. Now, brothers, I must remind you of the good news which I proclaim to you and which you receive and on which you have taken up, taken your stand and by which you are being saved. So the other one was King James. This is complete Jewish Bible. And I love the way they wrote this and by which you are being saved people need to come to that revelation because you were saved out of Egypt which represent the world that does not mean you need to continue to be saved from all your sin that means every time we are delivered from something that means we repented we are saved from that that's why you do that search on that word saved he said, by which you are being saved, provided. Now he let us know it provide we do something. Provide you, provide you keep holding fast to the message I proclaim to you. For if you don't, your trust will have been in vain. False way is to tell someone, once you're in Christ, don't worry about it. Once you're in Christ, you're going to stay there. Once you're in Christ, you'll never go to hell. Those are false ways. They're not according to God's word. Therefore, hate every false way. For among the first thing I pass on to you, what I also received, namely this, the Messiah Christ died for our sin, in accordance with what the Tanika, which means scripture, said. And he was buried and he was raised on the third day in accordance with what the Tanika scripture says. Stay with that. Stay with that. I do not stand, <coughs> excuse me, for any evil or false ways. That God, the Heavenly Father, or His Son, Yeshua Jesus, stands for. Because they do not. Excuse me, and we're going to end there. <coughs> Allergies. I woke up this morning, went outside yesterday. 
Woke up this morning with a sore throat, but it went away today. <clears throat> and I haven't cough all day. Anyway, I do not stand for anything that God does not stand for. That Yeshua does not stand for. <clears throat> Which means they give us choices of good and evil and tell us to choose. Instead, she, many, me, stand for freedom to choose from the foundation of the world that God and his son, Yeshua Jesus, gives all humanity, even today. His word teaches all to control themselves. First Peter 1 Peter 1.13, I'm going to name with that verse because it goes back to what I just read. <coughs> Excuse me. First Peter 1 Peter 1.13. Therefore, get your minds ready for work. Work the scriptures. Keep yourselves under control and fix your hopes fully on the gift you will receive <clears throat> when Yeshua the Messiah is rebuilt. Remember, I will manifest myself to those who keep my commandment. That gift, Rosh Hakosh, Holy Ghost, that anointing. Notice what it said. In order for us to really have it, keep your mind ready for work. That means get into the Bible. That's why Paul said, I work harder than all of them. Keep yourselves under control. Control yourself. And fix your hope fully on the gift. You will receive when? When Yeshua the Messiah is revealed. Because Yeshua want to reveal himself. Manifest himself to us. But remember who God gave it to. To those who obey him. Praise the Lord. Thank you all for joining me. Anybody have any questions or comment? If the Lord's will, we will continue with this teaching on next week, looking at some of the root cause, going back to the foundation of the world, looking at some more examples. Anyone have any questions or comment? Hey, I, want, <clears throat> I want to say I want to thank God for the word on tonight. Uh, you know, everything you talk about is written. I mean, you know, I ain't got nothing to add to it, but just thank God for it, you know, because it's written. And um, I'm going to just say, it's always something that you learn, you know, as you go get in the Word, you learn and learn. And if you teach, if you, if I'm listening to you, if you teach it, I know when you're off and I know when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not for me to try to, I, I, I don't try to do it, nobody for what they do, you know, but when you hear the word, I'm with you, you know, so, okay. amen, that's the way it is. Amen, praise the Lord, confirmation. Anyone else came to the line, have any questions or comments or prayer requests? <clears throat> going once, going twice, and please let us continue to pray about this situation in the world today. Because Satan is busy, and he blinding many people, and they don't know right from wrong, good from evil, or they just not rightly dividing them, one or the other. And so let's keep praying, and still say, nevertheless, not my will. Hey, 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 hey so, so. Yes. Hey, just, just pray for these people around him. We got a lot of people got shot up all Saturday tonight. Yeah, about 17 mm -hmm. was wounded, four killed, right here in Birmingham. So. Yeah, I actually heard that on the uh, yeah. on the news last night. I right. sure did, but yeah, because... 24 hours news, you mm -hmm. exactly right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the Bible says, say no, he only have a little while. So from the foundation of the world, murdering spirit, and they're still out there today, but we are to pray against it. And prayerfully and hopefully Amen. things will get better, but I do not believe they will until we start training up yeah. our children 
and the way that they should yeah, go. He, he, go ahead. Amen. He's looking to take all he can take back with him. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's why he said we we're to train them up in the way they should go. And what happened, the way things are so bad, a lot of adults are doing this evil thing because many times they was not trained up. And how can you train up a child when you was not trained up? You can't do it. And yeah, so it all, needs to... Words, you're not an example for them. That's a, absolutely. That's absolutely. You're not a good example. You can be an example, but not a good one. I know what you mean, not a good example, because a lot of people are bad examples. Right. right. They see someone do something, they encourage other people to do it, they want them to do it, they have joy in doing it, and not realize that eventually it's going to catch up. And if it don't do not catch up in this life, it'll catch up in the life to come, which means life will come, but it could be hell or heaven. <laughs> we make a choice which one we want. Hallelujah. Anyone else? But praise the Lord. Thank you all so much for joining me. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. If you have not <clears throat> uh, watched the video from yesterday, this is where the teaching started, going back to the foundational principle of the world. And so the Lord bless you, keep you, may his face shine upon you and give you peace that surpasses your own understanding. We must be justified by our faith, believing on God and believing that God raised his son, Yeshua Jesus, from the dead. Then we must confess what we believe. If we confess with our mouth, the Lord Yeshua, believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. We must believe in our hearts unto righteousness, and confession is to be made until we are delivered from any unbelief. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mark 16, 16, he that continue to believe and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 1 and 9, if we confess our sins, he faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Proverbs 28, 13, he that confesses and forsakes his sin, which means repent, shall have mercy. But he that confesses and forsakes not his sins will not prosper. Those are the words of the living God. Hallelujah. So if you have not confessed, repeat after me. I confess with my mouth the Lord Yeshua, the Lord Jesus. And I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Father, I ask you in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, to search our hearts. And God, if we like a faith, O oh God, please give us faith, O oh God, that we can be delivered out of this world into your dear Son. And God, help us to be translated by renewing our mind. God, I thank you for your love, for your forgiveness, for your patience, for your kindness, for your mercy, O oh God, that been there from the foundation of the world. So, God, I ask you to bless us, oh God, help us to grow in grace. In the name of Yeshua, I give you praise. We bless your holy name and thank you, oh Lord, for your word, because your word is true and your word is to abide within our heart, that we have a weapon against our adversary to destroy the evil work of Satan that been there from the foundation of the world. So, God, we pray for this world as a whole. We pray for that murderous spirit that we see from the foundation of the world. As my brothers have prayed for the people in Birmingham, that so many was killed and so many was wounded. Looking at the war today in between Israel, oh God, and other people, Lord, have mercy. But your word did say, when they say peace, there is no peace. But your word also teach us without peace and holiness, no man will see the Lord. So God give us peace and holiness that we can see the Lord. In the name of Yeshua, I give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you all. You all be blessed. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Love you.